I'd say a couple of things for the team to be successful this year. Um, on the men's side, uh, we need to stay healthy. Um, we had some key injuries and illnesses last year, and uh, that really hurt us depth-wise. So keeping the guys healthy um, will be key. We had the front line to be really competitive. Um, we just need to keep everyone happy and healthy. Um, on the women's side, uh, I think we're going to have a lot of close meets, and so it's going to come down to winning close races and kind of gutting it out and a lot of those uh, nail biters to, to win the meets. For the men's team, we lost uh, three school record holders and two of them were former individual conference champs. So we had some losses uh, from last year, but uh, in many of our event groups with the freshman class that we um, had come in, um, we're gonna be just as strong or stronger. So the freshman class is gonna make up uh, that difference, I think. For the women's senior class, uh, we also lost some school record holders, three school record holders, uh, one conference record holder, and um, so there's some losses there, but we also um, returned some school record holders on the women's side and um, have some pretty fast freshmen who can fill their shoes as well. We have uh, a lot of really fast guys coming back, including three school record holders um, individually and in relays. Uh, Chris Chavone uh, set three individual and four relay records last year, and he went to nationals for us. First guy going to NCAA since 2010, um, so he'll be back and uh, stronger than ever. Alec Wall uh, set the two back school record last year, and so he'll be back for his sophomore year, and he's already fitter and stronger than he was last year, um, so has a pretty promising season ahead. And Tim Gould set the 100 backstroke uh, school record last year and he's back for his senior year and uh, he's hungry still. So um, those are three key guys and there are others too who um, factored in uh, very importantly last year who I think will make a big impact. On the women's team, we have uh, three school record holders who are coming back in Jan, Jan Elgata, uh, Leah Williamson, and Aaron Fago, um, all of whom are on uh, some relay records for the team. And Kathy Hirsch comes back as well for her junior year, and she um, is a very important freestyler and IAMer for us. Um, and so they're gonna anchor uh, the women's team and mentor some of the fast freshmen that we have in, and hopefully we'll have a good year with them. For the men's freshman class, um, we're expecting big things. We have nine guys, uh, so more than half of our team is the freshman class this year. Um, we have 16 guys on the roster and nine of them are freshmen. Um, so they'll make their presence felt in pretty much every event group. Um, sprints were our strength last year, and we're gonna be stronger and deeper in the sprints this year, which is really exciting. Um, we've rounded out our backstroke depth. Um, we have a new top breaststroker in town. Uh, we have some more fly depth. And and we have a distance guy, which is an area where we were hit by injuries last year, so we'll have more depth in, in distance events as well. For the women freshmen, um, they're not as big as the men's class this year, but we still have, uh, we, we're packing a pretty good punch as far as talent goes. And um, I think that the sprint talent and depth is gonna be better on the women's side. I think they're gonna be able to combine with some of the upper class women to go after some of the sprint relay records this year. Um, similarly, I think in the short medley relay and the 200 medley relay, we'll have a chance to go after that relay record as well. Um, and then we have a couple of individuals who I think um, can finish in the top eight and potentially uh, set some individual school records in the freshman class. We always try to mix things up a little bit with the schedule as much as we can. Um, the conference meets um, are always there, but uh, we will have some, some good, tight conference meets. Uh, we can pretty much always count on that. Um, aside from that, though, we're going to start the season off with uh, a new quad meet this year against uh, York College, Widener, and Mary Washington. And between the four of our teams, um, all of us were represented NCAAs last year. So it should be a pretty fast and competitive way to, uh, to kick off the season for us. Um, our home invitational this year is going to be the only invitational we're, we're going to do at the midseason. So in past years, we've gone to a couple invites, one before and one after Thanksgiving this year. We're going to focus all in on our home invite uh, right before Thanksgiving. Um, and so it should make our home invite a little bit more exciting for the team. And then we're kicking off the second semester with a new tri-meet. We've always swum Susquehanna, coming right off a training trip. And this year, uh, Worcester Polytechnic is coming down from Massachusetts. Um, and they're a pretty fast team, so we're going to have a, a fast tri-meet here to kick off the second semester.